My name is Will Dubois. I'm a diabetes treatment specialist. I've been working here at Pecos Valley Medical Center for about 10 years. One thing I always tell anybody when they're newly diagnosed is, this is not your fault. Diabetes is nobody's fault. You can't give yourself diabetes. There's a myth that, oh, you eat too much candy, you give yourself diabetes, or you're fat, you give yourself diabetes. It doesn't work that way. It's a genetic disease. There are triggers, yes. Weight is involved, yes. But this is not something that you should, for even one minute, blame yourself for. Diabetes is not your fault. Activity is important for people with diabetes, but let's not forget, it's important for people without diabetes. Everybody needs to be active. The body is built to be active. The body's not built to sit in front of the couch. I'm not saying it's bad to sit in front of the couch occasionally, but your body is built to move. When you move, it utilizes sugar differently. You metabolize food better. Yeah, it's good for your blood sugar, but it's good for your heart. It's good for your cholesterol. It's good for your joints. It's good for your weight. It's even good for your mind. There's all kinds of evidence showing us that people who exercise just even a little bit are less prone to depression. When someone's first diagnosed with diabetes, the only rule I have on food is they drank their last soda. Whenever they drank it, that was the only one. They got extras, tough, down the sink they go, or give them to the homeless shelter, but the homeless shelter people shouldn't be drinking soda either. So no sodas is our only rule. In terms of what you eat, there's a lot more flexibility. Certain foods raise blood sugar more than other foods. It doesn't mean they need to be banned. It means they need to be eaten in proper portions and perhaps eaten with different foods. It's a challenge here in New Mexico because a lot of high carb foods make common meals. And so we're used to stacking several high carb uh, types of foods into one meal. So it takes a little bit of learning, but it doesn't mean you can't eat something you love. Maybe you have to eat a smaller portion. Maybe you have to eat it with something else. You don't have to give up much. You just need to be smart about how you combine things. Patients who are successful are patients who have a desire to learn. I think knowledge is probably the most single important thing about uh, diabetes management. You know, understanding what your medicines do, understanding how your equipment works, understanding the physiology of what's happening inside your body. And you know, I think people who spend the time to learn more simply do better.